Hey BWC students and everybody else watching, we are so glad that you are back for another week uh, of our devotionals. And so I hope you guys are excited. Pastor Alana is going to bring us an awesome lesson today, but I got to get ready. I have a wedding that I'm getting ready for. So Pastor Alana, over to you. Hey everyone. Um, last week, Pastor Josh shared with us about standards. Um, and there comes a point in all of our lives where we have to decide what standards we're going to live by. Um, if we're going to live by standards that aren't super great for us, or if we are going to choose to follow God's word. Um, and so I hope this week you have been able to sit down and consider how you're going to live. Um, maybe you've decided that one of your standards is that you're not going to watch certain shows on Netflix or Hulu because they're just not super appropriate. Um, or maybe um, you've realized that maybe there are some unhealthy relationships in your life and you just need to separate from those for a little bit. Or there's a habit that you have that isn't really helpful and it doesn't encourage your walk with Christ. Um, I hope you've been able to think about your standards. And we all know those things impact us personally. The Bible tells us that um, if we know what the Bible says and we do those things, then we are blessed if we do them, right? So we know that our standards impact us. But did you know that our standards can also impact the people around us? In 1 Peter 2.11, it says this, Dear friends, I urge you as foreigners and exiles to abstain from sinful desires, which wage war against your soul. Live such good lives among unbelievers that though they accuse you of doing wrong, they may see your good deeds and glorify God on the day he visits us. So this um, letter was written by Peter to Christians who lived under Emperor Nero. Um, and if you know anything about him, you know that he was an evil man. He hated Christians um, and he would do horrible things. Um, he lit the entire city of Rome on fire and he tried to blame it on the Christians. And so he hated Christians and as a result, the people in his empire also hated Christians. They thought they were crazy. They thought they were narrow-minded because they believed in one God and Christians were persecuted. And Paul is telling them that even though people believe the worst of them, that they should live in such a way that people see their lives and they think, wait a second, maybe I'm wrong. They love so well. They are forgiving. They live by the standards of the Bible. They're patient. That people would start to question what they believe and think, wait, maybe I want to know more about this God. The same can be true for us, right? We can choose to live in such a way that people who don't believe in God or the people that we don't get along with, they start to think, hmm, wow, this person lives really differently. Maybe I want to know more about God. Maybe I want to live like they do because they're so full of joy and peace and they're so kind and forgiving and gentle. Um, we can influence people by the standards that we have for our lives. And so we want to encourage you to consider that as you're thinking about how you want to live. Um, remember that the way you live can have an eternal impact on someone else's life. They may choose to follow Jesus because of the way you live. Thanks, Pastor Alana. Let's have a quick word of prayer. God, we thank you for everything that you have done in our lives, and we thank you for everything that you will continue to do. Please help us to trust in you and to do our best when it comes to following your example and telling the world about who you are and what you've done for us. Please help us to be a light in a world that sometimes can be so dark, Father. You have called us to be examples, so help us to do exactly that. We love you so much and we thank you and it's in your name we pray, amen. Soul in my feet, I feel that hot blood in my body when it drops. Ooh. 